A good afternoon and welcome to North Andover, Massachusetts as we get set for an NEC showdown between the Stonehill College Skyhawks and the Merrimack College Warriors. Clark to the corner with it. First shot attempt comes, is no good, but nobody there for Diallo's follow. Durkak off the mark, but Diallo cleans it up. If Durkak and Clark make shots, we're gonna lose, but we're gonna dare him to beat us that way. Fed down low, and a good job to hang around and hit by Todd Brogna, the freshman. Durkak gonna run this down the floor in transition. Diallo catch and shoot three, and he got it. First try from deep for Diallo, and he knocks it down, his 10th made three of the year. Benigni up the floor, keeps control of it, even though it was all over the place for him. He took a fall there, could not finish. Durkak in transition to the corner, it's Savage, and another knockdown from deep for the Warriors. Clark inside, kicks back to the corner. It's Savage again, and another knockdown from deep for Devin Savage. Three that missed everything from Brogna. Durkak in transition, why not? Savage, three for three. Another triple for Devin Savage, and a timeout called by Stonehill. Three-point try, no good from Zegarowski. Offensive rebound went right to Simona. Here's a three-point try now from Simona, and he's able to knock it down. These two coaching staffs have known each other for a long, long time. They sure have. There's an interior try from Simona. Good on-ball defense. The bounce inside, though. Kick back out. Zegarowski, five to shoot. Benigni launches a long three, and he knocks it down. It's a 10-0 run now for Stonehill, and they're right back in this game. Back out, Zegarowski driving, McCoy there defending, fading away, and a great job by Zegarowski. To You're tied midway through the first, it's a sign us up right now. Here is Felder with a long three. Warriors have not scored in seven minutes. Max Zegarowski, John, has five assists here in the first half. He is facilitating, and finally, Durkak will climb the ladder on the feed from Clark, and the run is over. All the way down the floor, trying to spin inside, had it poked free. Felder the other direction now, surveying his options. Zegarowski, trailer three, got it. Great play there by Felder on the fine, and Zegarowski with the knockdown. Just gets back to Durkak, kind of whipped on the pass. Now Diallo tries a long distance jumper and knocks down a three. Finally, after they had gone so cold from deep, Diallo ends the streak. Durkak and Clark play catch here with 10 seconds left in the half. Clark inside, back out. Durkak tries the three, in and out. Still can't find the range. Zagorowski to Felder, who tries to heave it at the last second here and hits one of the rafters hanging from the ceiling. Not sure he would have had it off in time anyhow, but we reached the halftime break, Jacob, all square at 28. He's a guy who's averaged mid-20 minutes at Manhattan and UMass the last three years. As that one's off the mark from three. Offensive rebound for Felder. Penetration, kick to the corner. Another three-point try is lined up by Brogna. Stonehill just hanging around. See if Merrimack can get a stretch here offensive. We've got to get some consistency at the side. Clark just blowing by everybody, squeezing through the lane. Gets to the basket easy. That's really well done by Bud Clark. Benigni back out, Simona. Shot clock down to two. Zegarowski gets blocked by Durkak. And then in transition ahead for Durkak with the slam down and the foul. Boy, I wasn't sure they were going to let that go. Shot clock violation, but they let it go in Durkak with the exclamation point. Well, that'll get this place rolling. And, and a huge credit, John, to Sam Diallo for the outlet pass up ahead to Durkak. They also have Pavlis out there right now playing with three. Well, He's still on the floor as they get O'Connell back into the action here. An easy one right at the rim. Let's talk about that for a second and, and when we get an opportunity. I, 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 I understand the logic there. Bit of an NBA, that's a statistic for me if I grab that loose ball as opposed to letting it go out of bounds. Right, Diallo knocks down a three there. Well, Durkak on that three that Diallo made matched his career high with nine assists. He's gonna get a triple-double at some point. Uh, it's just a matter of He's when. on the watch for it today. Here's no McCoy in the corner and a knockdown from deep for McCoy. Savage makes a move inside, no look pass for Stinson on the three. Jalen Stinson. And Joey Gallo immediately looked at his bench and, and sends a sub to the table. He was really disappointed with how they defended that baseline out-of-bounds set. A couple of out-of-bounds sets like that. 
Here's McCoy on the wing. Another three for Jordan McCoy. A lot of standing around here for Stonehill. Felder driving on Durkak, runs into a wall. Benigni launches another three towards the end of the shot clock. This time an offensive rebound for Abrams. Back out for Felder, who lined it up. Durkak, by the way, new career high, 10 assists. We're, we're monitoring that number, by the way, that, 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 that thing. There's number 11 on a knockdown from Savage, and that's got to feel good. He had missed 10 straight threes after making his first three. Diallo puts it on the floor, back out to a wide open Bud Clark. No good. Right there for the follow, though, Jacob O'Connell cleans it up for the Warriors. That was Jordan Durkak's eighth rebound. Eight points, eight rebounds, 11 assists for Durkak. Diallo, Clark, McCoy, three, yes! Jordan McCoy with what might be a dagger against the Skyhawks gives the Warriors their largest lead of the afternoon. Yeah. Some really close losses on there as well. Some good teams. There's Durkak, and he's got his first double-double of the season. 10 points, 11 assists, and eight rebounds. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. Durkak still holding up by his eye area, but he will happily dribble this ball out here as he gets over the timeline for the final time. The Warriors will end up with a 16-point win over Stone Hill. They halt the two-game NEC losing streak after losses to CCSU and Wagner. They get themselves to four and two here in conference. As you mentioned a moment ago, 10 and 10 overall this season, seven and one here now at home. And Joe Gallo's got this team primed and on the right track after a couple of losses.